Sweden is saving planet Earth. Okay, well, that's a pretty bold claim. Let me explain. In 2015, the Swedish government launched Klimatklivet, a program to help fund climate-positive projects. You probably haven't heard about it. Swedes are known for being modest, sometimes too modest. That's why they hired me to talk about this. I'm from the U.S. They've funded hundreds of projects so far. Here are nine of my favorites. In Helsingborg, they help fund new infrastructure for bicyclists, making it safer and faster to bike around the city. In Södermanland, they helped fund a plant that transforms food waste into biogas. So once you've charged up, something else can too. In Stockholm, they've reduced the use of the greenhouse gas known as laughing gas in dentistry. So getting dental work done is still gonna suck, but at least it'll have less impact on the environment. In Vastragataland, new shore power connections provide electricity for docked ferries, so ships don't have to run their generators while they're in ports. And in the tiny town of Soltaros, a facility is being built that turns fishing waste into energy. In Vastramanland, they're funding campaigns to reduce the carbon footprint of the sports industry. In Fallen, they helped fund the world's first climate-positive data center. This means that the heat generated from computers and servers is used to heat buildings all over the region, making the data center not just carbon neutral, but carbon negative. That's a good thing. And this elementary school in Varberg went green by switching over to clean energy. A+. Plus. Or this, several thousand charging stations for electric cars installed all over Sweden. These projects will have helped reduce CO2 emissions by 28,817 tons, and that's just the start. If you're a company, organization, Stifelse, commune or landsting somewhere in Sweden, you can apply for a grant for your own climate-positive project at naturvardsverket.se/klimatklivet. And if you're not in Sweden but would like to do something, share this video with a friend, two friends, your boss, because if this is what a small country in the north can do, imagine the impact if more countries did the same.